So here are three ways to zap your opponent's energy. The first is to put pressure on them. What's up everybody, Shane back with Vince the Anomaly at Systems Training Center and today Vince is going to talk about three ways to zap your opponent's energy uh, in MMA strategies because a tired opponent is an easy opponent so a great strategy to adopt is to drag someone into deep waters and then you can just pick them apart. All right. So first he's going to talk about cutting off the ring, putting that uh, pressure on on the feet with, with the hands uh, to get someone up against the cage. So let's talk about that Vince. Yeah, it's going to look something like this, right? If I want to get Shane towards this cage, I want to make sure that I'm cutting off these angles. Shane steps to the right, I'm cutting him off here. He steps to, to my left here, I'm cutting him off. Just like a pizza, I'm getting into those slices. I'm also going to be peppering with punches the whole time. All right, so these don't have to be major power shots, but they're making him think, they're making his brain work, they're making him get tired. One thing I like to do as well, obviously because it's MMA, we want to show the threat of that takedown. So I'm going to be throwing these shots, and throwing that feint in as well, getting him to get those hands down, coming back up high, hitting him with strikes. Now, if we've worked our way this close to the wall here, maybe you want a pressure to get him down. So I get in tight, right? I've got my underhook here. I'm putting heavy pressure on Shane. I've got good head positioning underneath his chin. I'm driving my shoulder right into his solar plexus, putting a lot of weight on him. Does this feel good, Shane? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Clearly not. <laughs> so I'm controlling. I can be looking for hips. I can be threatening these takedowns. I can be coming high. Regripping underneath, keeping my hips lower than his, and pressing in, all right? This whole time, Shane's gonna have to be fighting the takedown. So as he's gonna be working not only just to stay on his feet, he's fighting the takedown, he's trying to turn off to the wall, and I'm keeping here pinned against the wall. Now, when I feel ready, when I've zapped his energy enough, I can switch down. Let's say I'm gonna go for a single leg here, I get my hips nice and low, pull him up to the ground, he starts scrambling. Now, for our last tactic here, I'm just gonna ride Shane, right? So I'm gonna pepper him with punches, I'm going to keep him honest. I'm going to be able to work around. I can get to this front headlock. I can pass to get back to the side. But basically what I'm doing is I'm going to surf him. So as he starts to get up a little more, I'm going to bring him back down. I'm just going to work to stay on top of Shane, put pressure on him. Obviously we get to a side control position like this. I can get up, knee right on that solar plexus for knee on belly, pepper him with punches, elbows, and it's no fun. The whole time I'm keeping him working. Yeah. And what I love about this, this strategy, this concept, is that Vince is always one beat ahead of me, right? For, with that psychological pressure and the pressure on the feet right off the bat, like I, I find myself, I'm holding my breath and I'm anticipating and I'm overwhelmed the whole time to where I'm fighting your fight, I'm fighting at your pace and I can never, you're always one step ahead of me. So then you're draining the energy from me. I'm not thinking clearly. I'm worried more so about like, how am I gonna recover? How am I gonna get back to center? And again, you're just always one step ahead the whole time. Yeah, people don't realize that mental energy is like a real thing. So if you're already tired and I'm putting mental pressure on you and you're having to think about the takedown, yeah. the overhand, the elbow, the knee on belly, all the positions suck, it really just like piles, it snowballs up Yeah, and it sucks, man. Yeah, so there you go, guys. Check it out. We have a $5 course now available where we talk more so about boxing, kickboxing strategies, but also conditioning exercises to build your gas tank out uh, and then talk about strategies to zap your opponent's gas tank. Because again, you get someone tired, you can start to have fun in there. You can start to pick them apart because the body is like, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, we're drowning right now. I don't care about fighting, I don't care about keeping my hands up. All I'm worried about is getting some oxygen back in here. We need to prioritize breathing. So once you can get someone to that position, I mean, think about Khabib and what he used to do to his opponents, mm -hmm. right? So check it out, link's in the description below. Um, until then, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane. This is the Anomaly. Fight tips for the underdogs.